guys. <clears throat> Ron Orr here. Just want to say hey, how you guys doing? Okay, so here's the thing. Um, I've been around Cubana, good to see ya. Barbie, Cubana Barbie. Um, <clears throat> I've been <clears throat> kind of studying the top of search engines a little here and there up to 15 to 18 years ago, somewhere in that range. But I've been blogging probably about seven years. And most of my results came from some blog articles I put in a uh, few of them that I spent some time on about seven years ago and I just wanted to watch the results come in for six or seven years passively. And I got some top rankings on a lot of those and it completely worked. So I know it works. So I want you to 80-20 your blog with your time. And here's what I'm gonna recommend to you. Get your blog focused on a topic. Shoot, fine tune it. Like mine right now started off with Periscope. It's moving a little bit more into headlines. So it's kind of a combination of Periscope and headlines. But get in alignment. Make sure your headlines have a lot of punch and they're really good. And then what happens is as you consistently blog all the time, Valentino, good to see you. As you consistently blog over a period of time in all of your blog posts uh, and all of your headlines and all of your URLs and links, all have the same headlines and the same theme, the same long tail, the same micro niche, what ends up happening is it becomes very clear to Google and Yahoo and Bing what your website's about, and then you start ranking for the long tail keywords, such as the three to four word phrases, and then eventually, over time, you will start to rank for the shorter two and three word ones. But in the beginning, you're gonna get the long tail rankings. But it's very important also that your subheads, your H1, H2, H3, your subheads in the blog also align with your headline. And your headline should automatically line up with your URL uh, link if you're using WordPress, a content management system, CMS. So you definitely want to do that over a period of time. Um, if you're just blogging, uh, just a blog, and you're just writing, I think you should do at least 500 words or more for it to gain traction and actually get ranked in Google. Um, if you're just blogging five to 10 times a day because you want to be a hard worker, and none of the blogs are that related, and they're just kind of general, and you're not specializing anything, and you're just doing five or 10 blog posts every day, and the headlines aren't very good, I, I honestly, I think you're, it's a waste of your time. I don't think you should even be blogging because hard work doesn't equal success and results on the internet. It's not about hard work. Um, you don't want to post to a Facebook page 150 times a day. So it's not about hard work. What it's about is the 80-20 and optimizing your online marketing, your online time, and fine tuning it. So what I'm saying is you have focused energy, focused alignment, of what it is you specialize in and think in micro niche think in long tail okay so like i like headlines but i don't really necessarily like the shocking breaking news cnn headlines you know political headlines I'm not so big into all that i'm more into how headlines uh give you the 80 20 in life if you study the Pareto principle and the 80 20 rule uh where 20 percent of your work gives you 80 percent of your results that's what i want to get for everybody else to prove to you through so many different layers on every social channel and everything you do, how many times that headline comes up again and again and again. So that's what I want to talk to you guys about with this blog. I want you to stick to one concept to give you a better idea of what I'm talking about. I would say go to some headline formulas, but then also go check out what elevator pitches are and how you would minimize those headlines onto your business card as well. Um, people that have meetups i just saw one that came in my email it said social media networking meetup well i'm not going to drive 25 to 30 minutes away to go to a social media networking meetup that's that's just somebody that that's just a bunch of people that need to be a bunch of people to pitch a bunch of people because they need business because they don't have any business and that's not a good use of my time what i need is i need a more fine-tuned meetup that says something like minnesota periscopers with over two months of periscoping, looking to grow or build your business. Now, I mean, you wouldn't have that long of a headline, but you see what I'm saying is it needs to be more specific so that the people that have been around marketing a little bit, that we all can bring more value, we would be more likely with higher probability to show up. So, okay guys, so check that out. Focused headlines. Make sure that if you're gonna do your three or four or five blog posts for the day, 
make sure that they're all somewhat in the same category. Use the tags in, in WordPress. Use a featured image that matches well. Use a good featured image. Make sure the image is big enough. Um, you want your images um, really important. You want your images, by the time you post your WordPress blog post on Facebook, you want that image to show as the largest possible that it can. You've seen those really large images with headlines underneath. You want it to show on Facebook that way and not where it's like little image on the side and then headline on the right side. So not the split screen one where it's side to side split screen. You want the top to bottom split screen where the image is huge because your click through rate, I don't have exact stats in front of me, but your click through rate is so much higher with uh, the larger image. It's not just higher with your with your audience. I mean, I had a page yesterday that had we're up to like three different posts that have had like 400 to 450 shares. I mean, that's obviously reaching a new audience at that point. And out of that audience, I mean, you're going to reach more people that are, the same rules are going to apply. Is they're more likely to click. Even if you don't know them, they're more likely to click. It's just human nature. So you want to just be really smart about your headlines. You want to be, when I say headlines, I use it loosely. Again, it's it's, I'm talking about that first one to three second impression. I'm talking about what entices the click. I'm talking about the image. I'm talking about a celebrity quote. I'm talking about um, your headline and how it's fine tuned and the keywords that you use so that they show up in SEO, so that people click, so that people share, so that people think they have enough time to read your headline, uh, icons, um, any of that stuff. That, that first one to three seconds that entices people to get the original click the call to action for the original click. That's what I'm talking about when I say headline. So that works on all social media channels and my future videos will teach you how it has everything to do with all the future channels. Okay, catch you guys in a little bit. I got some more headline scopes coming up in just a little bit. I gotta go.